Hi viewers. Welcome to Edu Notes. In this video we discuss class 11th biology chapter. Biological classification. Since the dawn of civilization, there have been many attempts to classify living organisms. It was done instinctively not using criteria that were scientific but born out of a need to use organisms for our own use for food, shelter and clothing. Aristotle was the earliest to attempt a more scientific basis for classification. He used simple morphological characters to classify plants into trees, shrubs and herbs. He also divided animals into two groups, those which had red blood and those that did not. Two Kingdom Classification This is an older system of classification. It was introduced by Carolus Linnaeus in 1758. He recognized two groups of organisms only plants and animals. The Kingdom Plantae included all the organisms which were fixed in a place, had a spread out appearance, prepared their own food and had a cellulose cell wall. It included all the green plants, mosses, fungi, lichens and bacteria. Times The kingdom Animalia included all the organisms which could move about, had a compact body, had a heterotrophic nutrition and lacked a rigid cell wall. It included all multicellular forms and unicellular organisms called protozoa. Kingdom Plantae it included all organisms that showed the following features, organisms which were stationary, that means fixed at a place, prepared their own food by trapping sun's energy, had cells with a cell wall, had chlorophyll in the chloroplasts, that means to make their food. Some could grow indefinitely. Kingdom Animalia it included all organisms with the following features. Organisms which could move about. Could not prepare their food and depend on other plants and animals for food. Cells did not have a cell wall. Cells did not have chlorophyll. Bodies stop growing after attaining a certain size. Major disputes in placements of some groups. The placement of following groups of organisms was the cause of some of the major disputes among taxonomists. They were first observed by a Dutch physician Anton van Leeuwenhoek in 1675 when he studied the teeth scraping under the microscope. One many single-celled animals like Eugelna have features of both plants and animals. Eugelna can propel through water and can take in food like an animal in the absence of light. However, it contains chlorophyll and can synthesize its food like higher plants in the presence of light and in the absence of organic matter. To some unicellular organisms like slime molds lack a cell wall in the vegetative stage but develop one during the reproductive stage. Three fungi grow on dead organic matter and live by decomposing and absorbing organic matter rather than photosynthesis. They lack chlorophyll. Four lichens are living organisms and grow on a rock or on the bark of a tree and can be mistaken as non-living objects. They consist of a symbiotic association of a fungus and algae. Five bacteria could not be classified as plants or animals. Main disadvantages of the two kingdom classification 1. Prokaryotes, organisms without true nucleus, like bacteria and Blue-green algae and eukaryotes, organisms with true nucleus, had been put together. Two the non-photosynthetic fungi having chitin in their cell walls had been clubbed together with photosynthetic green plants having cellulosic cell walls. The classification did not differentiate between the heterotrophic fungi and the autotrophic green plants. Three unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms were put together in one group. Though two kingdom classification was used for a long time, it was found to be inadequate due to the reasons cited above. A need was felt to include not only morphology but other features like cell structure, 
complexity, nature of cell wall mode of nutrition evolutionary relationships and methods of reproduction. Hence the classification has undergone several changes over a period of time. Currently we are following a five kingdom classification. Five kingdom classification. Basis of five kingdom classification it was proposed by Whitaker in 1969. The five kingdom classification is based on the following criteria. The complexity of cell structure prokaryote or eukaryote class. The complexity of organisms body unicellular or multicellular. The mode of obtaining nutrition autotrophs or heterotrophs. The five kingdoms are monera protista plantae fungi animalia. Kingdom monera. Important features 1. Unicellular, single-celled, and prokaryotic. Absence of a true well-defined nucleus, organisms. They also lack other membrane-bound organelles. Two microscopic organisms. They are the smallest and most plentiful on Earth. Three most of them have a rigid cell wall. Four have a simple structure but are very complex in behavior. Five bacteria as a group show the most extensive metabolic diversity. They have various modes of nutrition. Some are autotrophic, that is synthesized their own food from inorganic substrates. They could be photoautotrophs or chemoautotrophs. A large majority of them are heterotrophs, that is they do not prepare their own food but depend on other organisms or on dead organic matter for food. Photoautotrophs, use light energy, autotrophic, prepare their own food. Chemoautotrophs, derive energy from chemical reactions, nutrition-free living heterotrophic, depend on other organisms for food, symbiotic, have beneficial relationship with other organisms, parasitic, live on or in other plants and animals. 6. They are known as the decomposers and mineralizers in the biosphere. 7. They have been put in two major groups. Archaebacteria. They are supposed to be the oldest or ancient bacteria. They are special as they can survive under extreme conditions such as absence of oxygen high salt concentration, acidic pH, very high temperature, 100 degrees Celsius, extra. Halophiles. Extreme salty areas can live in straw in salt solutions. Methanogens. Marshy areas produce methane gas. Found in plenty in marshy areas. Also found in gut of ruminant animals like cows and buffaloes. Rumen is the first chamber in the stomach of cattle where cellulose is digested. For class as they are found plentiful in dung, they are used in production of methane, biogas, from dung in rural areas. Thermoacidophiles. Hot springs found in hot sulfur springs at high temperature of 80 degree 100 degree centrigate. They are able to survive in extreme conditions due to the presence of a unique cell wall that differs from other bacteria. The cell wall consists of polysaccharides and protein. Eubacteria Eubacteria also referred to as true bacteria. They are present in abundance. They have been put in two groups, one cyanobacteria, second bacteria. Cyanobacteria, they are commonly known as blue-green algae. They are supposed to be the earliest oxygenic photosynthesizers. They have chlorophyll similar to green plants and are photosynthetic autotrophs. They are unicellular, colonial or filamentous, marine or terrestrial algae. Their colonies are generally surrounded by a gelatinous sheath. Heterocyst mucilaginous sheath. They often form blooms in polluted water bodies. Some cyanobacteria can fix atmospheric nitrogen in special cells called heterocysts. A cyanobacterial cell is generally large and does not have flagella. They may show gliding or pendulum-like movements. They are of great economic importance. Examples, Nostoc, Anabina, 
both can fix atmospheric nitrogen, spirulina, make protein-rich food. Bacteria they are microscopic, unicellular, small organisms. They vary greatly in shape. Bacterial cells are generally surrounded by a capsule or a slime layer under which is present a cell wall. Cell wall contains a material murane or peptidoglycan that gives protection against chemical and mechanical injury. The genetic material is in the form of single circular DNA. Cytoplasm appears granular due to the presence of food, lipid and glycogen granules. Many bacteria may have flagella. Some may have peely or fimbria hair-like projections on the surface. Bacteria could be autotrophic or heterotrophic. Autotrophic could be photoautotrophic, using sunlight as a source of energy. Could also be chemosynthetic autotrophic, as they oxidize various inorganic substances like nitrates, nitrites and ammonia and use the released energy for their ATP production. They play a great role in recycling of nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, iron and sulfur. Heterotrophic They are the most abundant and could be saprophytes, symbionts, cars and parasites. Majority are saprophytes. Saprophytes are the major decomposers in nature and play an important role in recycling of nutrients. Symbionts like rhizobium found in the roots of leguminous plants like pea, fix atmospheric nitrogen. Parasites. A number of them are pathogens, causing damage to human beings, crops, farm animals and pets. They cause a number of diseases. Reproduction. Bacteria reproduce mainly by binary fission. Under unfavorable conditions, they reproduce by spore formation. The bacterial spores can withstand extreme conditions and germinate under favorable conditions and become active cells again. Bacteria show a form of sexual reproduction called conjugation whereby DNA is transferred from one bacterium to the other. Mycoplasmas Mycoplasmas are the smallest known prokaryotes. They lack a cell wall, hence can change shape easily. They can survive without oxygen. Many mycoplasmas are pathogenic in animals and plants. Pleuropneumonia-like organisms, plos, cause pleuropneumonia in animals and witches broom in plants. Kingdom Protista Important Features Kingdom Protista includes single-celled, unicellular, eukaryotic microscopic organisms. Most of the protista are primarily aquatic. The cells have eukaryotic cell organization, that is have a true well-defined nucleus and membrane-bound organelles like mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, plastid. This kingdom forms a link with the other kingdoms like kingdom plantae, animalia and fungi. The boundaries of this kingdom are not well defined. Protists exhibit various lifestyles, some resemble the plants, some animal and some fungi. The autotrophic plant-like forms are protistan algae, the heterotrophic animal-like forms are protozoan protists and the decomposer fungi-like forms include slime molds. Chrysophytes The group includes diatoms and golden brown algae, desmids. They are microscopic and float passively in water currents and are called phytoplanktons. They are found in freshwater as well as in marine water. In diatoms, the cell walls form two thin overlapping shells, which fit together like a soap box. They have deposits of silica in their cell walls. Thus the walls are indestructible when the diatoms die, they leave behind silica cell walls. This accumulation over billions of years has led to large deposits of silica on ocean floors called diatomaceous earth. This soil being, gritty, is used in polishing as a very fine abrasive.
The cell walls of diatoms can pick up small impurities in the liquids, hence they are used for filtration of oils and syrups. For examples, triceratium, diatom, chrysosferula, golden brown algae. Dinoflagellates. They are unicellular, mostly marine and photosynthetic organisms. They are next to diatoms as producers in oceans. They appear yellow, green, brown, blue or red depending upon the main pigment present in their cells. Some are bioluminescent also. The body is enclosed in stiff cellulose wall divided into plates giving an armored appearance. Usually have two unequal flagella, one lies longitudinally and the other transversely in a furrow between the wall plates. Very often, red dinoflagellates like goniaulux undergo rapid multiplication and cause blooms that make the sea appear red, red tides. The toxins released by such large number kill marine animals including fish. Examples, goniaulux, gulnodinium. Eugalnoids they are unicellular and free-living, majority of them are freshwater organisms, found in stagnant water. Instead of a cell wall, they have a protein-rich layer called pellicle which is flexible and allows a change in shape. They have two flagella, short and a long one. The long flagella helps in locomotion. They have chlorophyll, hence can photosynthesize. Though, they are photosynthetic in the presence of sunlight. When deprived of sunlight, they behave like heterotrophs by predating on small organisms. The pigment chlorophyll of eugalnoids is identical to the one present in higher organisms. Due to the presence of chlorophyll they appear green in color. They reproduce asexually by longitudinal binary fission and by cysts during unfavorable conditions, example eugalna. Slime molds. They are saprophytic protists. The body moves along decaying twigs and leaves engulfing the organic material. Under favorable conditions, they form an aggregation called plasmodium containing thousands of nuclei, which may grow and spread over several feet flowing in amoeba manner on the soil of a forest or on dead leaves and stems. During unfavorable conditions, the plasmodium differentiates and forms fruiting bodies bearing spores at their tips. The spores poses true walls. They are extremely resistant and can survive for many years under adverse conditions. The spores get dispersed by air and under favorable conditions germinate again into slime mold. Example, Dictyostelium. Protozoans. It is a diverse group and all protozoans are heterotrophs and live as predators or parasites. Each protozoan is capable of functioning as an independent unit, performing all vital activities of life. They are believed to be primitive relatives of animals. They are found in all environments. There are four major groups. Amoebic protozoans they can be found in fresh water, sea water or moist soil. They do not have a definite shape. They have pseudopodia, false feet, by which they move and capture their prey. They can extend pseudopodia in any direction for locomotion and engulfing prey. Marine forms like radiolaria have silica shells on their surface. Some of the members are parasites in humans and animals. Examples, amoeba, freshwater form, entamoeba, a parasite that causes amoebic dysentery in man, radiolaria, marine form. Flagellated protozoans, they are either free-living or parasitic. They have a semi-rigid covering called pellicle that gives flexibility. They have flagella that help in locomotion. The parasitic forms cause diseases in humans and animals. Example, trypanosoma, causes sleeping sickness in man. Ciliate protozoans. They have a characteristic shape. They are all aquatic, actively moving organisms having cilia all over their body. 
They have an oral groove that leads into a cavity allied gullet. The coordinated movement of rows of cilia causes the water laden with food to be stared into gullet. Food is digested in the food vacuole and undigested waste is thrown out from the anal example, paramecium pore. Sporozoans it is a group of mainly parasitic protozoans. They have a simple structure because of parasitic mode of life. They have an infectious spore-like stage in their life cycle. Example, plasmodium, malarial parasite, causes malaria in humans. Kingdom fungi Important features The kingdom fungi include a unique group of heterotrophic and eukaryotic organisms which do not have chlorophyll, hence cannot prepare their food. They show a great diversity in morphology and habitat. They range in size from microscopic yeast to mushrooms and huge puffballs. They have a multicellular body with the exception of yeast which is a unicellular fungus. The mushrooms are reproductive structures arising from filamentous multinucleate mass of vegetative body which is found within the tissues of wood. Body consists of elongated filaments called hyphae which form a network called mycelium. Some hyphae are continuous tubes filled with multinucleate cytoplasm. They are called senocytic hyphae. Some hyphae have septi or cross walls. They are called septate hyphae. They have rigid cell walls made up of chitin and polysaccharides. Fungi could be parasitic, saprophytic or symbiotic. Mainly they are saprophytic, that is they live on dead and decaying organic matter. Hence, they are called saprophytes. The ones that live and depend on living plants and animals are called parasites and that live in association with other organisms are called symbionts where both get benefited. Lichens, association of fungi and algae. Mycorrhizae, association of fungi and roots of higher plants. Fungi are cosmopolitan and occur in air, water, soil and on animals and plants. They grow well in warm and humid places. Fungi reproduce both by asexual and sexual means. Examples, yeast, unicellular fungi, aspergillus, agaricus, mushroom, penicillium, rhizopus, bread mold. Asexual reproduction is by various means like budding, fission and fragmentation and by spores called conidia or sporangiospores or zoospores. Sexual reproduction is spores are formed in distinct structures called fruiting bodies. The sexual cycle involves following three steps. Fusion of protoplasm of two motile or non-motile gametes called plasmogamy. Fusion of two nuclei called karyogamy. It leads to formation of zygote. When a fungus reproduces sexually, two haploid hyphae of compatible mating types come together and fuse. In some fungi the fusion of two haploid cells immediately results in diploid cells. However, in other fungi, ascomycetes and basidiomycetes, an intervening dicaryotic stage occurs, such a condition is called a dicaryon and the phase is called the karyophase of fungus. Later, the parental nuclei fuse and the cells become diploid. The fungi form fruiting bodies in which reduction division occurs, leading to formation of haploid spores. Phycomycetes or zygomycetes the phycomycetes fungi can be found in aquatic habitats on decaying wood in moist and damp places or as obligate parasites on plants. The mycelium is aseptate and senocytic meaning that there are no cross walls. The protoplasm has many nuclei. Asexual reproduction takes place by the formation of motile zoospore or by non-motile aplanospores. The spores are produced endogenously in the sporangium. Phycomycetes are also called zygomycetes because of the formation of a diploid zygospore during sexual reproduction. Zygospore is formed by the fusion of two gametes. The zygospore has protective covering and can withstand extreme conditions. 
on getting favorable conditions, its diplonucleus undergoes meiosis and produces haploid hypha. Examples, rhizopus, bread mold, muco and albago, parasitic fungi on mustard. Ascomycetes or sac fungi. They include familiar members like unicellular yeast, saccharomyces, or multicellular fungi like penicillium, blue and green molds of blue cheese and citrus fruits and edible morels. They are mainly saprophytic or parasitic. They have septate and branched hyphae producing the mycelium. The tube-like haploid hyphae have large pores in septa through which nuclei can migrate. Asexual reproduction is by producing asexual spores called conidia produced exogenously on the tips of special hyphae called conidiophores. Conidia on germination produce mycelium. Sexual reproduction occurs by sexual spores called ascospores which are produced endogenously in sac-like structures called aci, singular ascus. These aci are arranged in different types of fruiting bodies called ascocarps. Examples, saccharomyces, yeast, unicellular fungi, penicillium, from which antibiotic penicillin is derived, aspergillus, claviceps are parasitic fungi. Basidiomycetes, club fungi. The most commonly known forms of this fungi are mushrooms, bracket fungi or puffballs. They grow in soil on logs and tree stumps and in living plant bodies as parasites in the form of rusts and smuts. The mycelium is branched and septate. Asexual spores are generally not found, but vegetative reproduction can take place by fragmentation. Sexual reproduction occurs by fusion of two different strains of haploid mycelium giving rise to adikaryotic mycelium. Adikaryotic mycelium gives rise to a basidiocarp, the fruiting body, visible above the surface. The basidiocarp gives rise to basidium, plural basidia. Meiosis takes place in basidium and gives rise to four haploid basidiospores. The basidiospores are exogenously produced on the basidium. These haploid spores give rise to haploid hyphae of a particular strain. Each hypha is a monocarion. The common name, Club fungi refers to club-shaped structures called basidia formed at the end of certain reproductive hyphae. Examples, agaricus, mushrooms, ostilago, smut, a parasitic. Fungus, puxinia, rust fungus, a parasitic fungus. Deuteromycetes or imperfect fungi. They are commonly known as imperfect fungi because only the asexual or vegetative phases of these fungi are known. Sexual reproduction has not been observed so far. They reproduce only by asexual spores known as conidia. The mycelium is septate and branched. Some members are saprophytes, some are parasites while a large number are decomposers of litter and help in recycling of minerals. This group includes a number of human parasites that cause athlete's foot or ringworm. Example, Altonaria caletotrichum trichoderma. Kingdom plantae. It includes all eukaryotic colored photosynthetic plants present on land and in water. Have a rigid cellulose cell wall that does not allow the cells to contract or relax. They are immotile, fixed at one place and do not have any locomotory organs. Mostly autotrophic and synthesize food by photosynthesis. Few are heterotrophic and have different modes of nutrition. Life cycle of plants exhibits a phenomenon called alternation of generation. These plants have two distinct phases the diploid sporophytic phase and haploid gametophytic phase. They are mainly producers on land and along seashores and form the dominant. Major groups are algae red, brown and green bryophytes mosses and liverwort pteridophytes ferns. Gymnosperms seed plants without flowers. Angiosperms seed plants with flowers. 
Kingdom Animalia It includes all multicellular animals known as metazoans. Their cells do not have cell wall generally motile. The mobiliny is made possible by development of muscular and nervous system. They have heterotropic mode of nutrition. They follow a definite growth patterns and grow into adults. They are the basic consumers on earth and form links in various food chains and food webs. The sexual reproduction is by fusion of gametes, followed by embryological development.